everything I owe section of the website uh -huh. is great. Yep. There's it's missing something though. Okay. Um, there's no like explanation of like how many things you can plug in on like particular protocols. Like, and I know this because like Kevin's explained it to me, like the D Snake protocol, mm -hmm. which is for for Q, uh, at least as far as current products go. And I'll I'll try and keep this in the realm of like <laughs> things that are relevant right now. Um, like forty channels. Yeah. It like you can't plug an AR twenty four or Q sixteen into an AR twenty four twelve into an AR twenty four twelve. Like it will forty channels. It, it it'll top top off mm -hmm. there as far as what what it'll see. Um, can you like kind of break down the how D Snake works and I guess it would be what DX and GX. Yep. Right. Yep. So there are. There's, there's protocols, if we go through them from the beginning, I think for me it makes most sense because you can see the evolution and where they've come from mm -hmm. uh, and what each one of them is yeah, good for. Explain so it a, however you need to okay. explain it. <laughs> so, there's, um, so originally we had ACE, which mm -hmm. is audio and control over Ethernet, which is That's built why for it's called, ACE. It's called ACE. Mm -hmm. So that was for our um, iLive series, mm -hmm. and that allowed you to have all of the control from the surface and all of the audio going back and forth between the surface and the rack. And ACE is uh, 64 by 64, 48K protocol. Okay. Okay. Um, from there, we had uh, D-Snake. So D-Snake is not ACE because it doesn't have all of the control stuff that you'd have from, from the iLive. Mm -hmm. So D-Snake is, is digital snake. It's very similar to Ace, um, but it's, it's digital stick. So they're very similar, very, very similar. So again, it's it's uh, 48K, but D Snake is uh, 40 inputs, mm -hmm. 20 outputs, which you'd get on the, the boxes, and then another 40 outputs for the Mi system. So that's included in the in the in that D Snake protocol. From there, we had. Uh, D Live and for D Live we needed far more channels and it's 96k. Mm -hmm. So that's where Giga Ace comes in. So Giga Ace is a, a gigabit version of Ace. Stop naming things. All yeah, right, <laughs> makes so it makes sense. So um, like so, I, yeah. I know these names. It just like <laughs> I never had the like this is why it's Ace. It actually stands for something. Yeah. I never knew any of this stuff. So. Giga Ace. This is why I, it makes sense to me in this order because then you see the, the yeah. I, I, so, I'm, I'm following you. So Giga Ace is 128 by 128. It's mm -hmm. actually higher when you look at a, a D Live system connection uh, from the surface to the rack. Um, oh yeah, because D Live is 128 by 64, right? Yes, yeah, so the mixer itself is uh, 128. Yeah, the, pro the processing channel. power yep. on, on the mixer. Yep. So the processing is in the mix rack, but you can also have uh, I/O slots in the surface that you yep. can use. So you've got more channels going across that, that connection. But it's a very high channel count. It's like 6K. Um, again, very low latency. So all of, I should say as well, all of these protocols are layer two. So they're, they're plug and play, direct mm -hmm. connection. They just work. There's not, you know, there's not huge setup stuff. And this, this uh, layer two thing means that, because it's not addressable, it keeps all the latency down. Can you put a router in between the two if you needed to? You can't because of the layer two thing. It's a direct connection, so it's designed for direct connection. Okay. There are some switches now that you can use, which have been set up to work with our protocols at, at layer two, um, and you can do some crazy things with VLANs if you want to get into it. But really, it's designed. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a one-on-one kind of one connection. You can't. Yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one connection. That's that's what it's designed for. That's what it should do. Okay. So that's Giga Race, mm -hmm. but then there are expanders for the uh, D Life system. So we needed a, an expander protocol mm -hmm. that was 96K. So that's where DX comes in. So DX is very much like D Snake. Again, it doesn't have all of the control stuff. Um, and very much like D Snake, it's, it's 96K. Mm -hmm. So it's double the sample rate. And that means that it's half the channel count because it's the same bandwidth. So it's 32 by 32 and 96K. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's DX. Then you've got this kind of weird sideways thing that kind of happened because we wanted to have um, higher channel counts, but we didn't need all of the control. So that's where GX comes in. So we've now got the GX 4816 for the Avantis, mm -hmm. which um, in the Avantis, all of your processing is in the console itself. And the GX 4816 is the expander. 
Yeah. Uh, but GX carries 128 by 128 channels, just like Giga Race. It just doesn't carry all of the, the control messaging and stuff oh, okay. that you'd have for controlling the processing. So GX, Giga Race are somewhat interchangeable. They're, they're very, very similar. The cousins. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're like very, we're even closer. They're, they're siblings. So then we've got uh, for SQ, we had the S Link port. So that can speak D Snake slash me. Mm -hmm. um, so S Link is not a protocol. No, S Link mm -hmm. is a port that can speak three or four, depending on how you count them, protocols, or five if you want to, you know, if you want to count all the words. Yeah. Um, so S Link can speak D Snake or me. It can speak DX and it can speak. Uh, GX, Giga Race. Strictly speaking, it's, it's GX that it, that it speaks. So those are the, the protocols that it works with and it does so automatically. So it's an intelligent port, it looks at the connection, it discovers any connected devices and it switches mode automatically. Mm -hmm. um, another really cool thing I should point out with our protocols with the plug and play thing is that every time you connect up any of the expanders, so a DX16.8 to an SQ for example, it will check the firmware on the DX16A and update it if needs be. So you don't have to, this is, a lot of people don't know this because they never had to do it. Um, I've, yeah, I've never heard anybody <laughs> mention, oh yeah, update the firmware on your stage box. No, like it just works. So this everything IO thing is, is quite, it's a lot of work from our R&D team to make it really easy for the user. So what can you do with GX as far as plugging and I'm going to go. I'm going to go mm -hmm. down down the line. So be mentally prepared for sure. this. Um, how can I connect things before having to involve like hubs or extra cards and some other things? Like if I have like to water it down, like one line of GX. Like how many boxes can be connected in like a chain? Okay, so there's a there's a couple of things here where it does get a bit trickier. Where GX is 128 by 128, no 6K. Mm -hmm. um, and that is gigabit speed. Uh, Talk to me like I'm five. D <laughs> <laughs> um, DX is fast Ethernet network mm -hmm. speed. Um, and that's 32 by 32. So we've got something which is the uh, DX hub. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just going to, I know I'm going slightly aside with this, but the DX hub is interesting because it takes the GX protocol and splits it out into four. So oh, 128 it divided does by GX. four. So it's, it's a GX Giga Race connection. The port says Giga Race because it was originally developed. I didn't realize for Gigarace. that. I just, D DX Hub, I, I'm yep. thinking in my head DX. So, so the, there's one port which is GX to the console. So that's taken 128. So that's an input channels. essentially. Yeah, or well, input mm -hmm. and output, so 128 by 128. And oh, then yeah, it because it's got to be able to go both ways, yeah. To the, to the DX uh, ports, so you've got four DX ports. So any one of those DX ports works like a DX port you'd find on a DLive card or a DX port on a, on a DLive system, or if you just plug the DX um, expander directly into an SLIC port. So DSnake, like I was saying, is for, for expanders. DX is also for expanders. Um, they can have two boxes connected, so you can have one box and another box cascaded. So you could have two DX16.8s and they've got to be the same protocol. That's a, a, an important point actually because the S-Link port will change to a specific protocol. So okay, if you're so running- It's only speaking one language at a time. Yeah, so if you're, if you're running D-Snake D boxes, you run D-Snake D boxes. If you're running DX and you're running 96K, you're running DX96K. Okay, so I would imagine if I'm thinking about all the box variants in my head, mm -hmm. GX would technically be the like asterisk on that, right? Because it's the conversion to the other protocols is happening at the box. Yes, yeah, so the DX hub does the conversion. So it's still one GX connection Yeah. Um, that you've got. So the, <clears throat> the mixer will see the DX hub as one thing. And the DX hub is then doing some clever stuff to work out the other ports to, to get the plug, four DX ports. Can you go like SQ, DX hub, and then for some weird reason, GX4816? You can't because the first one is, uh, so the DX hub is the uh, GX connection. That's GX and the GX the whole speaks thing. GX too. Yeah, so you've got four DX ports and the GX port okay. speaks GX as well. So it, it does, it can get confusing. Um, I I have to think about it sometimes and just work <laughs> through. Um, but the, the most important things are uh, the, the S-Link speaks one protocol at a time, mm -hmm. that you can have two boxes connected at once. So S-Link, 
basically can talk to any stage box that you guys make. Yep. That's the all of them. Is that the only mixer that can uh, mixer uh, series that can do that? So Avantis also has um, an async port. So Avantis oh, yeah, can do right. it as well. So that's right. Um, the, the other thing with S-Sync is not just for expanders. You can do a system-to-system -system connection. So you can connect up uh, two SQs. You can connect up uh, an SQ to a Q, actually. Mm -hmm. um, you can connect up an SQ to an Avantis. So you can do all sorts of clever things with it. It's like very, very flexible system, and it will carry those channels. And if you do a system-to-system -system connection, so two SQs, for example, that would be 128 by 128. <laughs> Which is kind of mad, right? Yeah. Um, that kind of like outclasses that, yeah. that board. And I'm not trying to like down talk an SQ. No, like, no. It, like SQ is, it's my favorite out of <laughs> out of all the things that you guys make, um, especially the SQ five. Like that's just like it's the it's the Goldilocks mixer yeah, for me. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but we did that because of the the everything I own, the idea that we could have everything connect and speak to everything else. So you can even connect up uh, a DX32 to an X SQ, and you can stick prime inputs in it. So that's the the top end preamps that that we produce, which is like, you know, the engineer's got a blank check and went <laughs> make the best preamps you could possibly make. So those are super high end preamps, and you can rack up a DX32 and stick that into an SQ as well. Wow, mm -hmm. that's. Um... Speaking of SQ, I'm sure you get asked this on a daily basis. And for the record, I've already asked him at least three times while he's been here. SQ pack, come on, come on, bro. <laughs> SQ pack, I got, I gotta ask for the internet. SQ yeah. pack, come on. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We have had a few requests for an SQ pack. It's that. Yeah, it's definitely something that's kind of it's on our radar. We're definitely aware of, and we are. Okay. looking at, at different possibilities. I won't harass you too much. Okay, Just thanks. Just take, take the, the magical thing that is the Q-Pack mm. and find a way to add a card slot to that I.O. set. Well, <laughs> it's not harassment, really. I mean, like, the products are amazing. We're always developing new things. So it's it's cool. It's, it's cool that people are so excited about the I possibilities. Mean, you guys actually do listen to, like, user requests, like adding the RTA to, like, SQ. That was, what, like, two years ago, maybe mm -hmm. three now? Yep. Um, I mean, that had to be what, like your number one request at the time? Yeah, so we've got a, a, a digital community, um, like a forum for, for users, and it's got feature suggestions in mm -hmm. there. Um, so you can upvote things, you can suggest things, and you can chat about things, and we can kind of hash things out a little bit. Um, so that's the best way to go for it, and we, we read all of those. So everything that's ever posted on there, um, we read <laughs> that's through. That's got to be we a consider. job in itself. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, we've got like the best users. They're just everyone's so nice and friendly and helpful to each other. It's just a it's a really cool community. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching JBA University.